Hello. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. So, what's up, everybody? So, today's video is brought to you by Wig Encounters. So listen, let me tell y'all something. If you guys already know what a teapot wig is, it's like, you know, just a tea. Like, you can only part it in wherever you can part it. I didn't really know that this was a teapot wig when they asked me to review this wig. And so, when I got it, I was kind of, like, astonished. Not astonished, but, you know. A girl was like, oh, okay, so... This is not a regular lace part. However, there is lace on the entire perimeter of the wig. So I tweezed as much as I really could. You know what I'm saying? I really didn't get a lot of tweezing because the hairline is, there's not a lot of parting space on the edges. Like there really isn't any parting space as you guys see. This is all the parting you're going to get. So depending on where you want the part at, you may have to, you know, lay the wig like to the left, to the right. You might have to like, you know, do a little bit of magic girl. So, you know, it did come like this. I wasn't able to bleach it. I mean, I did bleach it and like not a lot of the knots lifted because it was already, you know, pre-colored, but the color is really pretty, but it is a T-part wig. So if you guys are not aware, there is like a lace shortage in China and it does have a lot to do with COVID. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to get through this. I've worked with wig counters plenty of times and, um, yeah, I really did not know this was a T-part wig. How cool is that? Even though this is a T-part wig, they already sewed an elastic band in it for you. Like, I totally forgot that this was in here. And it does have, like, the normal straps. And let's, see, let's see how this T-part wig work out for the best of us. Okay. Hey, you guys. So when you receive your unit from Wig Encounters, it'll come in their black standard box. You'll also receive a product sleeve, which tells you what wig unit you ordered. The unit that I have here is a 13 by 5 T-part lace front. This is 22 inches in length and is 150% in density. And from what I've seen on the website, it is from the Long Island Ice Tea Collection. The color is a highlighted ombre color. And being that the knots were slightly able to bleach, I was able to lift some of them. But you can use a little bit of makeup and you may not be able to lift them because the hair has already been processed. The lace states that it is transparent on the website. However, this is not the transparent as in Swiss, but just a transparent color that any complexion can wear. Make sure you check out Wig Encounters. They have plenty of different units to choose from besides T-part wigs. I'll leave all of their information in the links below. Okay guys, so just the standard cutting of the lace. Because I couldn't or wasn't able to tweeze mostly a lot of the hairline because there isn't much of a hairline on it to you know tweeze I did get as much as I was able to you know the, the majority of the parting is well mostly all of the parting is in the middle because it is a t-part it does stay on the website this is a 150% density I will be honest and say that it felt a little bit thin to me on the 130% density side and it is 22 inches so that's another thing that it didn't really resemble 22 inches to me um, or the density this is from the Long Island iced tea collection and the color is really pretty I like the color but I will say I do think like right there in the middle where you see it can be a little bit more blended and I only say this because sometimes you can part it in a different direction and 
the hair will blend a little bit better but because this is a tea part and the only spot that i am able to part it is where i have it parted i do think that it needs to be blended just a little bit better in the part where the hair is parted at so guys you see the the normal i'm just using my hair sprays my um bed head and um uh what's the other one that got to be um you know well, I will be using the got to be or if I didn't already because yeah oh now I am because I ran out of the bed head but um I'm just gonna you know tack it down and adhere it down I did think that this wig had some combs on the sides but to my surprise they did not so there's only a comb and kind of like the middle right after the T right behind the part and in the nape and then it has the adjustable strap and the black elastic band so you just want to repeat that step on the opposite side, which you, you know, you see me do. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut the baby hairs. I'm going to try my best and darndest to um, finesse this wig. I have not done a tea part wig in so long. And you know, some things are not second nature after you haven't done them in like forever. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just sculpt some of the baby hairs down because the wig is, the lace is not like, you know, Swiss or HD, it's not transparent. It's just transparent lace, but this is the transparent where it is uh, for a lighter shade, lighter complexion, you know, what have you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say shade, but it looks like a lighter complexion. But I do see a lot of other different color complexions wearing the same transparent lace. It just all depends, okay? but it isn't like the transparent where you know it's melting so if you're looking for that honey it's not that um i did just take my elastic and just place it on those hairs but um i did have to you know blend it as best as possible especially because the sides the edges there's not a lot of parting space with it i'm not really sure if this is like a good beginner friendly wig i'm not really sure but when you think about it we who have been wearing wigs for quite some time started off on a wig like this and when this tea part wig came out we was like tickle pink you know what i'm saying we felt like it was the best thing since sliced bread so i think we got a little bit spoiled because we really do you know like the ultra hd swiss lace or the 360s or the lace frontals you know we really do like those and those are you know who can't blame you they're easy you know easy breezy you know i would give them all a thumbs up um, but sometimes when you don't do something for so long, it's like, okay, well, let me try this out. And that's how I was feeling when I was doing this wig. But I also was <laughs> kind of like feeling like, oh my God, why, why? But, you know, I never want to be defeated. And I think I did a damn good job. Despite the fact that the knots didn't all lift, it's okay because the hair was already processed. But, you know, you guys let me know in the comments below what you think about the wig, you know? I'm pretty sure you guys will. You'll give me your opinion. I did not have any type of faith in myself. Like for real Z, for real. Listen, when I got the wig, I was like, great. I don't even know how I'm gonna finesse this because I have not done one of these wigs in like forever. So, you know, when you have not done something in a minute, you know, they evolve and get new stuff. You just like, the old stuff is like in the back of your brain. You like, girl, I ain't, please. I'm gonna give me a, I'm gonna give me something different, girl. Like this is not even this. Like, look, okay. I was not like a huge fan of the lace color like y'all seen it was a little bit light but it kind of like blended in a little bit plus i added some makeup you know i wasn't too thrilled about the tea part because it's like okay girl where am i supposed to like what am i supposed to do with the sides like for real because there's no sides barely like wh what am i supposed to do so i actually worked it out like hello kudos to me but okay so seriously on a real note i really didn't think it was gonna work out like that like because you know i haven't did a wig like this the only thing that's driving me crazy is the little flyaway hairs like i just don't like flyaways that's the one thing that i'm not too crazy about um and for me for my taste it's a little thin i'm i'm thinking like this is probably like 130 percent density this is what i'm feeling because it's very it's to, on my to my opinion 
me i would like it a little bit thicker but you know if you do want more volume girl you just gotta add some curls to it if you want to you can add some face frame and layers and you know i would just do them like right here not all throughout but mainly in the front you could just give your hair more volume if you like cut layers in it this is look this is a cheaper wig because you ain't really got much parting space but you can still do something girl you got to bring it back to the old school like you know I don't know what's going on over there, but honey, we got to get these lace wigs back to she popping. Like you know, tea wig, tea parts are great. I don't, I can't really say if they're good for beginners now because I mean, like this is what we had back then. But now I would say like a tea part is probably not a great wig for a beginner because. They ain't got no sides, and so they're going to have to figure that out. Like, I don't really know. Like, I I, I don't know. What do y'all think? Leave me a comment below. What do you think of a tea part wig? Do you think it's a beginner wig? Do you have one? Have you worn one? Like, it fits nice. I'm glad they put the elastic in it. You know, I've been doing a lot of closure wigs, girl, and I got a couple of tea parts in. Honey, listen, I'm going to try them out and see what they do. But this, this color came out perfect. And you know, this is my color. I got, like, a bunch of wigs like this color. Hey. It's cute though. So wig encounters, you know what I'm saying? You might want to check them out. I'll definitely leave the information below. They got some really nice wigs. If you are not into a tea part and you want something that is so meltable, they got you. They got you. They got that too. Honey, trust me because I have a few of my own from their website too. But um, yeah, so this was the third wig video of the day. And on that note, it's time to go. I don't think I'm going to be doing any more because it's 8.41 in the evening. So it's it's late enough. So I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up. Check the information description box below. And on that note, I got to go. But I'll see you guys in another video. Get them, spin them, unless I'm out the dental. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.